So I have just done 1,000 sit-ups a day for 30 days. 30,000 sit-ups. That's a whole lot of sitting up. So I found this article online. It was called Baywatch Body. Basically it was simple. It was just 1,000 sit-ups a day for 30 days and it's supposed to change your life. So I was expecting to have six packs. Six packs. But I just get one big ab. Seriously, I just have one big ab. It's just like a big ab. And it's hairy. 700, 900, 1,000. 1,000 sit-ups a day will not necessarily guarantee you six-pack abs. What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. And I'm here to tell you the formula to the six-pack. Now, I've already covered this in previous videos, but I have a lot of people out there telling me Hey man, I've been doing this sit-up challenge. I've been doing thousands of sit-ups a week and I'm not seeing any results. In fact, I look exactly the same. That's because getting a six pack does not have to do with the number of sit-ups you can do. Having a six pack is a combination of a couple of things. Number one, it's genetics. So you genetically already have a set amount of abdominal muscles. You might have a six pack, you might have four, you might have five, all depending on your genetics. So you cannot do a thousand sit ups and expect your abs to split and pop into multiple abdominals. You're gonna have the same amount no matter what. Now that takes me to number two, muscular hypertrophy. That's the growth of the muscles. So what doing sit ups or abdominal exercises will do for you is grow your muscles. So over time, through stimulus, through the training response, your muscles will grow bigger. So this will make your abdominals bigger and more defined. Now this leads me to the third and most important point about this. Even if you have perfect six pack genetics and you've been training on a very good program like Bodyweight Beast, you will not necessarily have six pack abs because you might have too much body fat. Your body fat is going to be covering up your six pack abs and doing sit ups, crunches, L sits, L hangs, any abdominal work will not target and burn the fat off the abdominals. The most effective way to lose fat is a calorie deficit, a diet. Exercise isn't the best way to lose fat. It's actually cutting your calories back than what you're taking in. So with that being said, I want to break the misconception that you can just do a thousand sit ups a day and magically get the shredded body you've always dreamed of. With that being said, if you're looking for a structured exercise program, you want to check out Bodyweight Beast. We actually don't use sit ups in Bodyweight Beast because sit ups aren't the best way to target the abdominal muscles. We start you off with a more basic crunch, but then we go into more advanced calisthenics movements that really, really target the abs to induce muscular hypertrophy, such as the L hang, L sit, tucked L sit, all types of uh, different abdominal and core workouts for you. With that being said, though, you don't have to do that program to get a six pack. You can do any program. You just gotta structure yourself. And then if you're fat, if you notice you have too much fat here, you're gonna wanna get on a calorie deficit of about 300 to 500 calories, less than you burn off a day. So lose about around a pound a week. That'll take you off slowly enough to where you don't get sick and to where you can maintain this until you get um, a leaner physique. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you're liking these videos. Got daily uploads Monday through Friday. I'll see you on the next one. I know the textbooks say you can't change your genetics. However, you really can change your genetics. You can get down deep, pop the strands, the ACs, Ts and Gs, and rearrange them so that your four, three, or one pack breaks apart and becomes a perfect aesthetic six pack. But you got